Well, welcome back guys to another video. I'm out here fishing this little protected cove. Usually this spot gets fished a lot, so I'm not out here too often, but um, decided to come out this time because of the ocean. Right around this is really rough right now, and uh, I mean, you wouldn't be able to catch anything, but I got two different rigs. This is the bobber rig. Um, seen Fisherman Life use it a few times, and I wanted to give it a shot. Just a bobber and then some two hooks for the bait. We're gonna give that a shot, but first I'm gonna give it a shot with this, just a regular drop shot. Um, you know, four ounce this time and then just a one hook. It's really kelpy around here, so I don't really know if the bobber rig is gonna work just because there's so much kelp in this area and I feel like it's just gonna get snagged. So we might give it, a, we'll, we'll give it a shot, but I mean, we'll see if we get snagged too much and then we might have to move um, to a different spot to try that out. But we're gonna start off with this drop shot. We're gonna fish around these little rocks, see if we can get anything, uh, hopefully hook up on a, a nice fish for today. All right guys, we're gonna get started here. We're gonna get some bait. Oh, just some frozen squid today. a good chunk out of there. Get our hook. And you want to throw it at two, through at least two times just so it stays on there pretty good. You know. Oops. This thing's really frozen. So sometimes when it's frozen, it kind of likes to break off. But there we go. That's good enough. And the spot's really nice. It's just whenever I come out here, I feel like this is one of the most, or I, I feel like it's really targeted a lot. I just pulled this, all this line right here out of the water. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of people fishing it. Also clean up after yourselves. Bird could get tangled up, fish could get tangled up on there. And you know, we'll just die. But I'm just gonna be coming around here, fishing just, you know, just dropping it down between some rocks, hopefully land a fish. There's a nice deep hole down there, but no, uh, no bites. Oh, I got one. I had one. <laughs> it was a little cabazon. I don't even know if you guys saw that or not. I didn't even know I had one on there. Baby cabazon. All right, guys. Been out here for a few hours now. No bites. Just that small cabazon that fell off the hook. I really wanted to use that bobber rig, but it's just not working out. I also had another rig that I've never seen used out here on the West Coast that I wanted to try out, but I don't think today's gonna be the day for that. We're gonna go back to the original drop shot. We're gonna see if we can pull one out of here. That was sketchy. It was uh, really, really far drop off. You do not wanna fall down there, that's for sure. But uh, this is really calm down here, so a lot calmer. Uh, I definitely see some structure. I think we might be able to pull one out of here. Compared to the other spots, this is like a crazy calm. But man, is it sketchy. I see like, I feel like I could just fall right in. Look at this. That's what I'm, I'm dealing with here. Definitely uh, definitely scary. But maybe we can pull out a nice fish.
I don't even want to stand too close to this edge. I feel like I'm just going to fall right in. Not very deep, but... Uh, oh, I'm getting bit. I just got bit. I just got bit. I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. No! You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, please, please. Oh, man. I think if I was using a different piece, I think it was just biting the tentacles of the head of the squid. Oh. Swell starting to pick up right as soon as I was getting those bites. So I don't even know exactly where Ah, uh, sketchy man. Hold on, let me let me put on a better piece of squid. This thing is not gonna I think it took the whole head. Look, it just left me a tentacle. But I was getting bit right there. Put that on there like that. Just like that. Man, we were getting, I think it was a rockfish. Maybe, it felt like good bites. Definitely not a massive fish, but some good bites. And uh, you know, that's, that's better than anything I've felt today. So we'll uh, come back here. Yeah, I'm not even sure where I was at, really. We're gonna, man, it's, this water is so, so rough right now. I gotta wait for it to calm down a little bit. I feel like I don't want to catch it. Okay. Oh, that, that might be it right there. It's been a very, it's been a very deep hole. I'm gonna leave it there for a few minutes. Got one. Oh, I got him. Yes. Nice. Let's go. This is the fish that was stealing the bait. Nice. Oh. Let's go. Man, today I thought I was going to get my butt kicked. Kind of did, but man, look at that. I made it worth it for sure. It's been a really long day. Finally landed a fish. Kid you not, I've been fishing for like a good five hours. I finally landed the fish. Although this is not the one I wanted. Definitely would prefer like a big Cavazon or a, you know even a keeper link cod. But this is a really big rockfish. It's a massive one. Look at this. It's nice. Right there, right in that little cove. Almost really, really uh, shallow area. But man, came up and took two pieces of my squid. I had to get them. I had to get them. You know. If you look at this. Throwing up the squid. I uh, he took. Come on, get off. Come on, pop up the hook. Man, this hook's on there good. It was not coming off this time. Just hang on there and pop it out. She 
Jeez, that thing is on there good. Might have to get the pliers for that, but yeah. Just threw up the head. Yeah, this is a nice grassy rockfish. Beautiful fish. This is a really nice, this is a really green one actually. There you go, baby. Nice. Alright, let's see if we get another one. Alright, let's get another one out of that cove. I feel like there's some good ones in there. Look at this dead bird though. Just died. Uh, crazy, right? Just a dead bird. Anyways, uh, got that nice rockfish. That's the one that was taking all our bait, but could there be more? It is always the question. Sorry if the glare is pretty bad on you guys. Oh, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit. Please, please, please come back for it. Please come back for it. Look at that. Looked like just barely exposed. It was right, right in between these two coves. I don't know if that was exactly where it was at, but hopefully they're out there. There we go. There we go. Got one. Got one. There we go. Another rockfish. Gotta go behind this rock. Oh, on the water. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's green. Dropping up against the rocks. Oh, gotta get it up. Oh, snack. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yes. That's uh, another nice rockfish right there. Damn, bottom hooked it. <laughs> I've never hooked a fish from the bottom lip. Usually they're like on the side or something. Interesting. This is a black and yellow rockfish, I believe. Oh, the hooks. Oh, I just got hooked a little bit. There we go. Black and yellow rockfish. Camera angle is terrible. Sorry, guys. That's another black and yellow. Mouth on these ones are a little bit smaller, but they're still a really. Oh. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. I think just. These are a little feisty, too, I realized. I've noticed. They are quite feisty. I'm gonna go put them down here, wash them off, and we're gonna let them go. But yeah, nice little black and yellow. Good size eater. Get a fresh piece of squid on here. Just gonna cut the head off. Fresh piece of squid. I'm gonna cast it right there. Same spot where we caught that black and yellow. I think, I don't know if that was the same fish that was biting previously. All right guys, gotta let these fish go. Back in this little cove here. Whoa. I'm right back down. <sighs> All right, let's head back and see if uh, we could do the bobber rig or not. Man, my tired. But two fish, so that's good. <laughs> 